Listen to the full audio series on the Pocket FM app. Click on the link in the description to install now. Emma was left speechless after Robert asked her a strange question. She had no idea what kept going on in Robert's mind. How would I know? You tell me. Why did you not stop those rumors with Jasmine King if it was that easy? Ah, you look so cute when you're jealous. I let those rumors stay because I made a deal with Mo. I told him that if he wants to keep the rumors, then Jasmine has to do endorsements for my company in the future for free. That's great. How would I have guessed it? There's more. I like that you were jealous. <laughs> for the first time, I felt like you cared. It was cute. I'm not jealous. But coming back to you, I'm sure you both didn't go to Bali together just to make me jealous, now did you? Your questions sound jealous. I'll explain it to you. I had no idea she was in Bali the same day. We were on the same flight and we checked into the same hotel with no idea about her being there the entire time. I only found out about it when it came on the news. Emma didn't know why the answers mattered so much to her, but she stopped asking questions to avoid looking jealous anymore. The next day, when Emma was at work, she received a call from William Mike. Come to my office this afternoon. I need to talk to you about something. Why do you think I'd do that? I don't want to- If you don't want me to send my men to forcefully bring you here, then come and see me. You are my daughter after all. I shouldn't have to kidnap you every time I want to see you. William hung up and Emma decided to go. She didn't want to create a scene again. When Emma went to the office, she was stopped by his assistant. They called William to confirm before letting her go. This reminded Emma of the last time she was there, five years ago when her mom was extremely unwell, but William still refused to meet her then. Emma put herself together and entered the office. William was all ready for her. Why did you want to see me? Another blind date? I saw those pictures of you and Robert. Why are you destroying yourself? Don't you think it would be better for you to just leave Robert or leave the city? and start somewhere new. He's the only man who treats me like a human being. Why would I ever leave him? Do you think I'm like you? You left your first girlfriend to marry into the Meyer family to attain status. I'm not you. I don't abandon people who care about me. Child, you're not suitable with that man. Give this chance to Isla. She and Robert will make a good couple. It's for the best of both the families. So, this is what it's about. Do you really think Robert would want someone like Isla? Go ahead and tell her to try. If she wins, I'll step back. And in the future, do not ask to see me and lecture me about being your daughter. Because I never considered you my father. And you should do the same. Emma stormed out of the office and went straight to work. She was later picked up by one of Robert's drivers. She thought that she was going to Robert's villa, but the driver took her to a banquet hall. When she entered, a man came and informed her that her dress was ready and that they would shortly start her makeup. Emma was confused and called Robert. Why am I here? Why are they talking about dressing me up and putting makeup on me? You talk too fast. Be calm and take breaths in between. Anyway, what were you saying? Yes, there's a party at a villa near the mountain. I chose a beautiful dress for you. Get ready and I'll pick you up in an hour. Robert arrived to pick Emma up from the party, but couldn't stop looking at her. Emma was looking ethereal. Robert couldn't help but smile looking at her. Don't mock me. You chose this dress. Emma. Why are you always so grumpy? You look so elegant in this dress. I want to hide you. I wish it were just the two of us tonight. Emma didn't say anything. She just blushed and sat in the car. After a short drive, they reached the villa. When Robert and Emma entered, everyone had their eyes on Emma. She looked so graceful that people couldn't help but stare. Emma was all smiles until she spotted William Meyer's family in the crowd. I don't know why they're here. In the next moment, Isla was standing in front of them with a huge smile. Emma, you're here too. So nice of Mr. Erickson to bring you along. Mr. Erickson, how have you been? The last time we met. We've met before? That's strange. I don't quite remember you. Yeah, we met a few days back at the restaurant. You were accompanied by Emma and your younger brother. Hmm. I don't have a memory of you being there. Anyway. Emma, honey, you said you were hungry? Let's go get something to eat. Emma and Robert smiled at each other and walked away from Isla. Just then, Irene walked up to the helpless Isla. My dear daughter, what happened? Why did you let them go? He left to feed that useless woman. 
They're so close, Mom. How will I ever make him fall for me? Don't worry, sweetie. I won't let another green woman take our men. Robert took Emma to greet Mr. Santiago, the old man who hosted the party. Grandfather, how are you doing? Robert, my boy, you've made it. And who's this beautiful young lady with you? Is she your girlfriend? Sir, I- Mr. Santiago, you're getting more fit day by day. Here's Isla, my daughter. When I told her about this party, she insisted on coming and meeting you. She said you were an inspiration. Mr. Santiago looked at Isla wearing an off-shoulder dress. It's rather cold today, Miss Meyer. You'll catch a cold, dear. Do you have a coat? No, I'm not cold. I wear... Apologies, Mr. Santiago. Please don't mind her. She got ready at the last minute and forgot to bring a coat. Look at Emma. She is very elegantly dressed. Robert, I must say that you've made a good choice. By the way, can I speak with you alone for a moment, Robert? Robert and Mr. Santiago went to the bar to talk privately. Robert, long ago, I owed the Meyer family a favor. A few days back, William Meyer came to see me and asked me to return the favor. He knows you and I are close, and he asked me to convince you to marry his daughter. You've put me in big trouble, Grandfather. I'm just returning a favor, Robert. I can't force you. Whether you get along with her or not is totally on you. But now that I met the girl, I know that she is not the one for you. She didn't even know how to respond with manners to elderly people. But the girl you brought along, she's a good one. Is she your girlfriend? I wish. I've tried to win her with everything I have, but she just won't let me be her man. She doesn't want me or my money. <laughs> Those women are rare. Are you serious this time? Yes, Grandfather. I'll marry her the moment she says yes. But that's just so hard. At another corner of the party, Emma was enjoying when Irene and Isla cornered her. You're really your mother's daughter. You're so shameless that you want to steal my daughter's man now? Really? I want to steal her man. She threw herself at Robert the moment he entered. I'm not shameless. Your daughter is. Irene angrily raised her hand to slap Emma, but Emma held her hand. Isla came to rescue her mom by holding Emma. But when Emma tried to pull back, Isla lost her balance because of her high heels and fell into the pool nearby. She was drenched in water. William saw this and ran to give his coat to Isla. Uh, uh, Emma, why did you push me? Even if you hate me, you shouldn't have done this to me. Uh, not at a party, at least. <laughs> Seeing Isla in such a state, does that make you happy now, Emma? Robert's eyes fell on the crowd gathered around Emma, and he quickly ran to her. How will Robert react to the whole situation? Will he manage to protect Emma from the crowd's reaction? Or will the Meyer family create a new facade to know what happens next? Hi guys, Emma here. Listen to full episodes of Cupid's Curse exclusively on the Pocket FM app. Click the link in the description or simply search Pocket FM on Play Store or App Store to install now.